Great swords are some of the best weapons you can use in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, but like all weapons, it can be hard to know which ones are worth spending your time on getting your hands on. So in today's video, I'm going to be telling you the 5 best great swords in the game and how you can get them. Starting with St. George's Holy Sword. This gorgeous looking greatsword has the lovely perk where critical hits will knock enemies to the ground, so perfect if you've got a big fight on your hands, or even if you're just facing a few tougher enemies. In order to get this one, you'll have to first start the river raiding quest with your pal Van, where a fearsome champion holding the sword will be waiting for you at the Diva Vitrix Fortress, located on the River Dee. By actually completing the first few River Raid quests, you'll also obtain St. George's Armour, so if you haven't got around to this yet, I'd thoroughly suggest you get out there and stretch those sea legs. Next up, we come to one of the top 10 weapons in the whole game, the Greatsword Excalibur. Arguably the most famous weapon of all time, this weapon not only boasts some strong attack stats, but also a perk where heavy finishes and critical hits will blind your enemies. Like all things worth owning, it's going to take you some serious grinding to obtain, You'll first need to find the 11 treasures of Britain, three of which are hidden with zealots in Kent, Essex and Sussex, and the other eight in hidden caverns across England. Once you've gathered all 11 tablets, you'll then head to a spot on Hamptonshire called Mirrodin's Cave, a huge cavern where after some exploring, you'll eventually find the resting place of Excalibur. Simply pop the 11 treasures into each section, and then finally, the Greatsword Excalibur is yours. If you need any more help in finding Excalibur, never fear, I've already made a more in-depth video on screen now and in the description. And by the way guys, if you do want to do this Viking a serious favour and help me out on my YouTube path, do consider smashing that subscribe button as it really does help my channel out. Moving on, we come to one of my personal favourites, the Egyptian Kopesh. Looks wise, this is my favourite great sword on offer, and whilst it doesn't exactly hit the hardest, its perk will ignite your weapon after critical hits, dealing out some serious extra fire damage. Now, if you do want to own this Egyptian bad boy, you will first need to purchase the Wrath of the Druids DLC, where you'll then grab this from Azor's trading store once you reach Dublin rank reputation 2. There's actually loads of great armors and weapons that you'll get in Ireland, as well as the most powerful spear in the game, so I know this may seem a little unfair oh, see what I did there, but if you want the Egyptian Kopesh and you're considering purchasing the DLCs, it's a strong recommendation from me. Next up, and I'm going to group these two weapons together, we have the Nameless Greatsword and the Suter Greatsword. Both incredibly strong weapons, the Nameless's perk will emanate fire when you hit an opponent with a special attack, and the Sutra Sword will deal out an extra 30 damage when you set it on fire with the Fire Strike ability. Unfortunately, you can only obtain both these weapons from either the Helix store with real money, or hoping as I did that they eventually land in Reddit's shop. These weapons are both going to turn you into the God of Fire, so if you can, make sure you're always holding on to 120 opals, in the hope that this devious child salesman has them on sale. Now, I do appreciate that all of these weapons today involve either some serious time on your behalf, or actually getting out your credit card, so I also wanted to mention the Carolongian Longsword. Whilst not as strong as the weapons above, this is still a solid greatsword for you to dominate with, where its perk will increase critical damage after a finisher. Simply explore the forest hideout in East Anglia, where it'll be waiting for you amongst some low-level enemies. A decent greatsword in which you don't have to sacrifice an arm or a leg to get it. I'm Ironside George, and if you've been watching throughout and you're wondering what this armor is, then why not check out my next video?